Hi, it's Lori the Armchair Chef. I should be in bed already. Just saying, okay? But I left work early. I had to go to the eye doctor because I had to use up my benefits for the end of the year. Of course, like everything else, you got to get it done before the end of the year. So I go to Eyeglass World. Well, I wanted three pairs of glass. I want driving glasses for daytime and nighttime, which means sunglasses and regular glasses. And I wanted a pair of shopping glasses. When I go shopping, I can't wear my distance glasses because it makes me dizzy when I walk and I trip on things. So I have to get one that's kind of mid-range, you know. Um, I did the bifocal thing. Don't work. Um, so I get them so they're like, you know, not super uber far, but, you know, maybe 20 feet, 25, 30 feet. So that I can see signs and, you know, stuff without everything getting dizzy. So I, I, I go to get my glasses. And I I got the one for shopping. I got Marilyn Monroe frames. Really nice. $179. Said, oh, my insurance covers that. About $250 worth of frames. And I'm like, okay, so we'll do that. She runs them. Um, my insurance covers $49 for its frames. I had no idea. I thought I had a really good insurance. Apparently it does if I shop at Walmart, but I was shopping somewhere where they had really nice frames. And uh, so they were going to cost me with my insurance $490. Okay. Well, I don't know if any of you are familiar with Eyeglass World. They have a promotion, two pairs for 89, two pairs for 99. And the frames, and you, it's like the, the frames, and then if you want anything added, this is what's included. And then if you want anything added, they, they're trying to sell you stuff to add on. Well, I know what I need. I've worn glasses my whole life, so I know what I want, know what I need. I've decided this time to match the um, glasses to my hair. So I thought that would be kind of cool because I have purple ones, and they just don't match my hair. It doesn't look good. So I found frames to match my hair, the color it is right now. I don't know what it's going to be later, but right now it's kind of red. So I've got red frames. And so she ran the two pair for $99. The sunglass and the regular, which is my distance, my driving glasses. We did all that, two pairs, and it was going to, it ended up costing me. $350. Two pairs of glass. She didn't. She did my exam, but she didn't do glasses on my insurance. So my exam was covered. I have like a $10 copay, which I thought, oh, that's great. And then it covers stuff. It don't cover shit. Well, I'm glad I changed my insurance next year. I found out I switched to, from VSP to MetLife. MetLife covers $350 on frames. Now, I have to make sure when I go back in, that's what they're going to cover. Because that really pisses me off that I look at the benefits and that's not what it's going to cover. So I can get my Marilyn Monroe, my Marilyn Monroe frames for $179 on my insurance for next year. So I'm going to go back and get those glasses. But just saying, yeah. Not using insurance is not always the best deal. Um, so the insurance, the vision insurance only costs like $14 a month. So I probably got my money's worth. But I am getting clear lenses for driving. Um, frames that match my hair. And I'm getting a pair of sunglasses for daytime for driving. And I got polarized lenses. L life is totally different when you're wearing, using polarized sunglasses. So if I wear just polarized sunglasses in the car when I'm driving, oh my God, it's such a difference. So now polarized prescription glasses, but I got those two pairs and more frames that match my hair for like $350. Yeah, that's a that's a deal. That's like what one hundred and seventy five dollars a pair. It's people who have worn glasses their whole life know that's probably a pretty good deal. It is, and um, I just worked 
my butt off the last, you know, month. So that's my treat. New glasses, huh? Real fun. But anyway, I have another bit of information for you. If any of you have ever subscribed to BarkBox, I did subscribe to it. And I got a, I have a small dog box. And then I had one extra soft toy because they don't do treats and stuff. So I changed it from a uh, treat to a soft toy. So whatever it was, a month or whatever. But so I wanted to cancel it because I found out my dogs aren't playing with them anyway. Remember, I was giving them away. So I thought, well, I'll cancel it. You're not allowed to cancel it. I don't know how this is legal. But, well, no, I take that back. Yes, you are allowed to cancel it. They stop sending it to you, but you still pay for it. How is that legal? Because you made a contract for six months for BarkBox. Oh, but I don't want them anymore. Okay, we won't send them, but you're still paying for six months worth of boxes. Is that legal? Really? Even though you're not getting anything for your money? They're still taking it from you every month? How is that legal? So I saw an option on their website for canceling. One of the options was my dog died. So I thought, mm, let me try that. What's it going to hurt? So I put in the option because they just renewed my subscription and I, for another six months. And I totally forgot to cancel it before the new one started. So I have another six month commitment of these boxes, whether I want them or not. And even if I stop them, I'm still going to have to pay for six months. So that's when I went and looked and I said, oh, okay, let me mark my dog died. Okay, this is after one box. And so I'm, I haven't even got that box yet. It's on the way. So I got a letter from them. It's a condolence letter for the loss of my dog. Now, I didn't say which one. I have two. So I didn't want to jinx myself. Um, and it says, we're very sorry for your loss. We're here for you. If you need anything, any assistance or blah, 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 whatever, we canceled your subscription and you won't be billed for any more box. That's all you have to do is tell them your dog died and you're out of your subscription commitment contract that they blackmailed you into. Yep. That is the biggest scam I have ever heard of. Subscribing to something and then canceling it and still having to pay for it. It's like your car. Right? You buy a car, you make a commitment, the car breaks, you have a whole car, so you are paying for it. It's not like you don't have a car and you cancel your car, but it's like if your car wrecks and you don't have a car anymore, you still have to make your payments, but you had a whole car. I didn't get six months worth of bark boxes and then say I want to cancel and then still have to pay for them. I don't get any more bark boxes but still have to pay for them. I do not know how that's legal. Anyway, just let you know, just tell them your dog died and you can cancel your subscription, okay? There's a helpful hint. Now, I went to Sonic. They have a new sandwich. And I wanted it last time and I tried to order it on my app and it wasn't on my app. I got the pickle fries and the pickle fries were pretty good. They weren't too strong, they were little. Um, this time I, I usually get the onion rings, but they usually, yeah, I usually don't feel too good after I get the onion rings. So I just got French fries because, you know, they make me happy. So they have a new one that's called a BLT toaster. It is this big toasted Texas toast bread with bacon, lettuce, and tomato. So that, you know what? Since I couldn't order on my app because for some reason my app wasn't working. It was broken. You don't get extra points for, it's not a point thing either. I thought I'd get one. And since I've never had it before, I thought I'd do a taste test. You have dinner with me. This and a large fry was like eight bucks. So I don't think this is very much. It is some bacon. There's one, two, three, four, maybe five pieces of bacon. Nice crunchy lettuce, two slices of tomatoes, and I love a BLT, so I'm going to try it. 
And Cujo's freaking out because he thinks I'm dropping food. It was ketchup. Packets. So let's try it. Mmm. This is the bread that Sizzler uses for their, their toast. Pretty good. Not too soggy because I just got it. Now I just like um, salt and pepper and mayonnaise on my sandwiches. It looks like all they have is mayonnaise. No salt and pepper. Well, you don't really need salt because of the bacon, but let's try another bite. I got a little bite. It's good. It's a BLT. Don't pay a lot for it. It's not worth that much. I mean, I don't like cooking bacon, so it's okay. I mean, I might have it again if I don't want a burger. You know, this is not bad. It fills you up. But a good BLT is pretty good. lot chewing it's good it's a blt but wait there's more i got some cards i got a couple cards at work today well i got one at work today and i got one the other day for my sister i just checked my mail i don't go there much anymore my mailbox is bigger than it used to be so i don't need to check it too much it's one of those long flat ones so I thought I would open up. Oh, she got the little Wildland. <laughs> she got the little Wildland stamps that we don't have anymore. <laughs> Those are very popular. I have a bed in that we're going to get Christmas stamps after Christmas. I think we are. And just an FYI, I don't know what the date is, but I do know the prices are supposed to go up again two pennies. So if you want to wait till the rush is over, Go get some stamps before the prices go up again. They're 66 cents right now. Pick up a few books. Or if they have Christmas stamps, pick some up for next year. Oh, look, it's a Coke. It's a Santa. It's a Santa Coke. Coke Santa. Sign of good taste. I'm a Pepsi person, so is she trying to mock me? Wishing you a very Merry Christmas. My sister... Her husband and my dad. So that'll go up on my wall. And I got another one from work. This would be from, oh, Miss Cecilia M. from Washington. Right? Yeah, Washington. Got her card today. This is the one I got today. Did I show you the other ones I got? I don't know. I put them, they're up there ready to go up. Oh, I don't think I showed you all of them. I still got to do my presentation. Oh, look, it's a pretty shiny Christmas tree. Look at that. Pretty tree. Oh, how nice. May all the gifts of the season be yours this Christmas and throughout the year. Jesus is the gift of Christmas and may your new year be filled with yarn. <laughs> you want me to go shopping? Okay. I might be able to do that. Thank you, Cecilia. Okay, that's two cards, and I have another gift. I got one from one of my besties from California today. It was outside the door when I got home, because she doesn't use my P.O. box. It is from Costco. It's a five-layer tower of goodies. So let's see what's in the layers. 
I think I found my scissors. What did I do with them? There they are. Couldn't find them the other day. Could you come sit? Come sit. No, you're not eating anything. Okay. Whoa. We have layer one. There's a little one. It's a chocolate pretzel. Okay. I like these little boxes. Those will be fun to reuse for something. It's a creamy white Bavarian pretzel. Very nice. I use all these snacks at work. Oh my gosh. I stop in the morning and I'll get coffee. I'll get a liter bottle of Diet Pepsi and I'll get like either a donut if they're, they just put some out or a candy bar for later. Yeah. Okay. These are from the fruit company and I don't, let's see, what's this say? This says chocolate, oh, chocolate covered cherries. Look, looks like chocolate and candy coated cherries. Oh, that's nice. That'll be yummy. Make that to work. And here's another box. Let's see what's in this. One. Uh, the fruit company from Costco. It's from Hood River in Oregon. Oh. Oh, and this is, oh. Look at this, Utah truffles. I don't even have Utah truffles. Toffee truffle and raspberry truffle. Are they from Utah? Huh? Is that something that we make here that I didn't know about? I don't know, maybe. Well, it says Utah, but then again, Bavarian stuff might not always be from Bavaria. Okay. And what I like is everything's wrapped. I like that. So it can be um, taken out and put in something else and uh, used. Okay. Here's a box. Uh-oh. What's in there? There's foam. <gasps> oh, they are Fuji apples. Oh, look how huge they are. I love, these are like my favorite ones. These are good. The Envy apples are very good. And if I can, I get the Envy if I can find them first. I'll get Fuji's. And then I get, um, the Honey Crisp aren't even as good as the Fuji's. Seriously. These are good. Thank you. I don't know if she's going to watch this, but thank you, Anna. Um, what is in my sleeve? Something cold. What is that? Oh, I bet it's lettuce. It's a piece of tomato. <laughs> From my sad It was down the sleeve of my bathroom. <laughs> I wore this outside to take the dogs out because it's nice. <laughs> okay, so I got some fruit. I got to put that away in the kitchen. And my understanding is there's pears. So this must be pears. <gasps> Oh, yeah. There's the pears. Let's see if they're all the same. Um, these are. Bosque. That's a Bosque pear. Kind of red. What are these? They're all Bosque pears. This is nice. And take these out. And I do like a good pear. And I buy cheese. I like to buy the uh, mozzarella. Oh, sorry. The mozzarella string cheese. And I'll eat it with my apples. So I'll take some to work and eat it with my pears. Or some, maybe some something else. But it kind of satisfies me and fills me up when I mix the fruit with the uh, cheese. So let's see. That. Let me, shh, 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 shh. Let me see. I have my other cards up here. If I showed them to you already. Um, yep. Yep. You guys already saw those. So I'll add these. And I think that's it. I just want to make a little short one to say hi. And uh, this was my hat that I wore when I fell on my head. Look at how cushy that is. 
I think everybody should have one of these double layer blanket hats. Yeah. This, this could have saved my life, you know, when I fell on my head. Oh my God. I could imagine hitting my head on a piece of plywood. That would have hurt. So that's it, guys. I'm going to go. And um, dog just ate, so we're all fat and happy. And I'm going to lay down here and relax. I got to go into work early tomorrow. I'm not sure why, but it said so. So I'll probably go in an hour after it said I'm supposed to be there. So I have to stop and get my coffee, my donut. <sighs> Keep me going all day. Okay. All right, you guys be safe, be careful. And if they told you your packages would not get there before Christmas, if you did not mail them on Monday, they lied. It just depends how far they have to go. Let's see. I'm in Utah. It's Wednesday. There were packages still expected to get there on Saturday. Some places, which would have been three days before Christmas. And if you order from Amazon, they're delivering packages on Sunday, too. So some people will still get their packages on Sunday. Most post offices are going to have people delivering on Sunday, too, to get as much out before Christmas as possible. So we're having five people come in, five carriers come in on Sunday, volunteers, of course, because some people like the extra money. You know, I don't really have a celebration, so I don't know yet what our schedule is for sure. And uh, it says everybody's supposed to be there on Monday, which is our Christmas day, which I don't believe. I really don't believe he's, they're going to pay all of us triple time to come in on Monday. Right? That To me, that's a little psycho. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for hanging in there with me. And uh, I'm... I, I kind of glanced through some of the comments. I didn't get a chance to uh, comment on them, but I left them there so that I can go back. And let me think if there was, I don't think there was anything I really needed that was urgent. Um, somebody asked me about the reflective yarn, where to get it. And I got it in an online store, but I think if you go to websites where there's yarn or you do a Google search for reflective yarn, it'll come up and it'll show you where they have it. I think uh, online you can get it at like Joann's or Michael's or someplace one of those yeah 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 um, but I got mine at one of the online companies and every time I went online and bought something I bought more reflective yarn so I have like tons of it now what she what you saw in the video probably was four weight and might have been like from Joann's at the time but check online just do Google for reflective yarn and it'll come up the places that have it. And then you can see where they are. If you can find one that says nearby, that means one of your local stores might have it in stock and you can get it there. Okay. It's really nice to use. You don't have to make something out of all reflective yarn. You can just put some stripes in it. So you're not using it all up on one thing. You could just use, you know, like I just said, I repeat myself a lot. Yeah. You can just stripe something with it or do edges. Okay. All right. I don't know if my Christmas cards are going to get out on time. I really wanted to make my ornaments and I have like, I think not enough done, but I was hoping I could get them done. I'd really like to wait, get the ornaments done and then send them. To me, it doesn't even matter if it's before Christmas. I'm weird that way. So um, but I really wanted you guys to have the ornaments that I was making. So I am going to try to make some more. And I will see you guys next time. All right. Bye. Where's the stop button?